Hello. Can a serious mishap happen during hair transplantation? Can death happen during transplantation? Recently, we read in Patna there was a death after hair transplantation. What happened? These questions are often asked to us by our patients. And to answer these through this video, I am Dr. Venkatram Mysore, Dermatologist Hair Transplant Surgeon, Venkat Center for Skin, ENT and Plastic Surgery, Vijayanagar Banshankari, Cunningham Road, Bangalore. See, hair transplantation is generally considered a simple surgery, outpatient surgery, no hospital admission, going home the same day, returning to work the next day. All this is true. But all this is true if it is done in a safe way after proper evaluation by the right kind of doctor with the right kind of training and experience with the right kind of team. Now, what happened in Patna case? From whatever information that has come out that we know, patient was an army jawan, so must have been very young, must have been fit also. And the operating doctor, from what we have heard, was a dental surgeon. Dental surgeon. And with his team of technicians. Why should death happen? Before also there was a death in Chennai, there was a death in Mumbai. Death can happen because the right techniques were not followed, proper asepsis to prevent the infection was not followed, so infection can happen. Proper facilities for resuscitating the patient if something happened was not available, or proper team of doctors were not available, or the technicians were not medical people, they were some non-medical staff, PUC, SSLC fellows who did not know about asepsis, or post-operatively care was not available to identify the right cause and then treat it properly. Any of these can be causes. But what is important is to recognize two factors these days. One, young people often can get serious heart problems, diabetes, cholesterol, etc. at a very young age. We have seen film stars dying young. We have seen models dying young after severe physical exercise. So there is a lot of hidden heart disease in our society. We ourselves see every month when we do ECG for our HD patients, at least one or two will have some ECG changes. But we evaluate them, show him to a cardiologist, then do the things. This is one reason. The second is what is called black market treating of hair transplantation. Hair transplantation clinics have mushroomed in our country. Every nook and corner there is a clinic advertising heavily, advertising for very cheap rates, 8 graph, 8 rupees per graph, 10 rupees per graph. And often, the doctors in these clinics are not dermatologists, they are not plastic surgeons, they may be dental doctors, they may be Ayurvedic doctors, they may be MBBS doctors or there may be no doctors. Technicians go from clinic to clinic to operate and many times these technicians, they are not nurses, they may not be OT technicians, they are just non-medical SSLC, PUC, BSc graduates with no knowledge of skin, hair or asepsis. And there are ghost surgeons who come from one place to operate, leave the next day. So, lack of medical care. Often these are done in clinics. The death in hair transplantation happened because it was done in a spa. Lack of care, carelessness, casual attitude, lackadaisical attitude, sab chalta hai attitude. These are also responsible. So what does this show? This shows two, three things. One, hair transplantation may be a simple surgery, OPD surgery, no admission, but it still needs proper protocols, proper care, proper SOPs. The operating place has to have all the necessary facilities for an operation theatre all the necessary equipment for resuscitation. The patient has to be investigated fully and thoroughly. Irrespective of age, ECG has to be taken. Sugar has to be checked. Smoking history has to be taken. 
family history of heart disease has to be taken anxiety depression history has to be taken and this can only be done by a trained medical person and then if there is some wrong in the investigation patient has to be evaluated physician clearance anesthetist clearance cardiologist clearance has to be obtained and then proper protocols have to be followed during surgery and care has to be given all this is possible in the hands of a trained experienced qualified medical specialist who is usually either a dermatologist or a plastic surgeon these are the two specialties who are authorized head and neck surgeons can also authorize other specialties are not trained in these subjects then post operative care has to be followed and while doing all this do not put too much emphasis on money just because somebody gives a little less don't go to a shady place money yes it is important but good care good quality good experience good training cost money so if you want to get a good quality doctor who is trained and experienced he will have his fees do not compromise safety and health for the sake of small difference of money hair transplantation is a cosmetic surgery you go in safely as a healthy person you come out safely as a healthy person so the final summary message three messages message number 1 patient has to be safe to be evaluated as fit for surgery with all the routine investigations blood test sugar cholesterol liver kidney ecg everything the place has to be safe all the necessary equipment for an operation theater all the necessary equipment for a resuscitation if necessary an anesthetist should be present and number 3 the doctor has to be qualified trained experienced so look for these three things your safety doctor's experience and the team safety do not get operated by technicians do not get operated by people who are not trained identify the doctor search for their experience and then take a proper decision your safety is in your hands for the sake of hair you cannot risk your life i hope the message is clear i hope the message is useful and if you find this video useful please tell your friends like our video on youtube visit our website venkatcenter.com any more videos that you wish us to do please inform us stay safe take care all the best thank you